Hi, my name is Trev Hutchings and this is how to set up an instrument rack in Ableton Live Lite. In Ableton Live Lite, add an instrument to a MIDI track, either by dragging it to a MIDI track or double clicking on the instrument. Right mouse click the instrument header in the detail view. Click on Group. The instrument is now placed in an instrument rack. Click on the Chain View icon. Select a second instrument and drag it to the Chain View area just below the first instrument. Now select a third instrument and drag it to the chain view area just below the second instrument. Now arm the track. Playing the track now will play all three instruments together. In the Vortex Preset Editor, retrieve a preset. Set pads 1, 2 and 3 to type CC Momentary. Leave the MIDI channel as channel 1 and change the CC to 55. Set the press and release for pad 1 to 0, for pad 2 to 1, and for pad 3 to 2. Send the preset back to your vortex. Click on the key button of the instrument rack. Drag the ends of the green bars for each instrument to play different instruments on different parts of the keyboard. Click on the hide button to close the zone editor. Click on the Velocity button. Drag the ends of the red bars for each instrument to play different instruments at different key velocities. Click on the Hide button to close the Zone Editor. Click on the Macro Controls icon. Right mouse click on the Chain Volume for the first instrument. Click on Map to Macro 1. The Macro 1 title will now change to say Chain Volume. Set the level for Macro 1 to 0 dB. Right mouse click the Chain Volume for Instrument 2 and click on the Map to Micro 2. We are going to use Instrument 2 and 3 together so right mouse click chain volume for instrument 3 and map to macro 2 as well. Because we have already added instrument 2 to macro 2, macro 2 is called chain volume. So click on the second map to chain volume just above map to macro 3.
set the level for macro 2 to 0 dB. Now click on MIDI. Click on macro 1 and move fader 1 on the vortex. Click on macro 2 and move fader 2 on the vortex. Click on MIDI. Now, when you play the Vortex, you can use Fader 1 and Fader 2 to mix the sounds. Click on the Chain button. Leave Instrument 1's zone set to 0. Set Instrument 2's zone to 1. And set Instrument 3's zone to 2. Click on MIDI. Click on the Chain Select ruler. Now click on Pad 1 on the Vortex. Click on MIDI. Because Pads 1, 2 and 3 are all set to CC55, they will all control the Chain Select ruler. Now, when you play the Vortex, you can turn each instrument on or off with the pads 1, 2 and 3. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.